Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Shelburne RV. Started out a little cold this morning. Sun's sun's been out. It's been pretty nice today. It's supposed to be up in the 60s. It was 28 degrees, I guess, this morning when we started. So, just trying to get uh, trying to get some things rolling. We had uh, we've had some work come in. It's just been terribly slow. I mean, you know, the rain's been hindering all that. And of course, February, everybody's trying to figure out how bad they're going to get screwed on their taxes this year. So, or if they're going to make a bunch of money. So. It's kind of hindering some of that stuff from coming in and being done that way. So, but got a few things we're working on here in the shop. I actually came in over the weekend um, on Sunday, and you guys will recognize this camper right here from some of the other videos that we've done. Of course, uh, the Gimpy Camper. I'm going there and like his channel. He does a lot of good stuff on his channel. Check it out. Um, so one of the things we're doing for the Gimpy Camper is. You can see two different rims, two different wheels. Um, he's had a lot of problems with uh, blowouts and stuff like that. Well, I actually came across some 5,500-pound uh, axles. He's got 4,400 pounds under there now. Um, and, of course, those are five-bolt. These new ones are six-bolt. So he went and got him some good Hercules Load Range G. He went really high on that. Normally... Normally on 16-inch tires, I only do, uh, you know, most of them come load range E. I do load range F. He actually did G on those, so he got he got pretty crazy, which is good. More sidewall, less flex, more tread. The problem is that tire is rubbing up there. It's like quarter-inch difference. So I've got some, uh, those are four-leaf springs that are in there. Uh, I called down to our friends down at Felton's Clutch, and I've got some five-leaf springs coming. So we're gonna change those springs out with some five leaves uh, and then put, put a little bit more spacer block underneath the axle, get it up another quarter inch. We should be fine. But doing that shouldn't, should solve all his problems he's having with blowouts. Get them heavier rated tires always helps out. So cousin Gary's in here working on a camper with a uh, gray water valve problem. Uh, we had a basement air that came in from uh, Ohio just the basement air only. So Mr. Lewis is in here troubleshooting on it. So let's go in here and we'll get to checking out a few things. So working on a 65, 35, uh, 671 and came in here, customer uh, stated that he felt like compressor was bad. Now we can't even get compressor two to come on. It does have the original board. Uh, so we have updated the board um, to the new style. So we're going to go ahead and check that now. So Mr. Lewis has been in here working on this basement area. Now we did find out that compressor one, uh, they had been in there working on the charge the customer had. They put these braze on taps. The tap was a problem. So the compressor didn't have any Freon in it. Of course, you know how I feel about braze on taps, but uh, compressor was pulling 14 and a half amps. So we did go ahead and change it out with a new GMCC compressor. And Lewis has got it all put back together and he's uh, he's running it now and everything's running good on it. So we got that done and we actually had another one just show up a few minutes ago. So Lewis is doing his paperwork on this one. This one's ready to go. We're gonna get it out the door. All right, well, the guy's been in here working on this Escape trailer. Now these are pretty cool, all fiberglass, uh, all fiberglass trailer. They're made out in uh, British Columbia. Uh, this one came in with several issues. One of them being the, the uh, Suburban stove. Now, Suburban did a, did a voluntary recall because the stove that's in here um, is actually mounted right above the wheels. And so they found out that they're, uh, they were bouncing around too much and breaking the uh, little line in the stove and uh, had some gas issues. So Suburban did a voluntary recall for those where if you've got an escape trailer and the stove has not been updated suburban will actually send you an updated stove that res resolves all the problems that they were having with the uh 
with the lines on the on the stove itself. Now, Escape will have to reimburse you for the labor, but they will send you a, a new stove. So they've got that they're working on. Um, the Alpha Gold. Now you guys saw this the other day where uh, the motor was burned up and then we had a uh, airplane uh, solenoid in there that I could not get my hands on. So I was able to use the Trebetta switch out of the Lipper components, Trebetta switches that they use on their leveling system. Um, and we got this all done yesterday. Let me show you what we did. So if you guys remember in previous videos that that uh, that valve up there, the hose was leaking. Now you can see, let's see if I can get my camera up here. You can see where we've put the new, you can see where we've put the new Trebetta switch in. Now there was a switch that we were trying to find, we couldn't find, but we swapped it out with that new Trebetta and everything's working just like it's supposed to. Slides are running in and out now. Now you can see this is the motor that came out of it and you can see those wires. Yeah, they went nuclear on there. So we've got the new motor in there. Of course, the new Trebetta switch. So everything's golden on it. I'm going to take this one on down. Ready to go. Okay, so we're back here on this escape. Now, Mr. Adrian's been working on this, uh, this little Dometic furnace. Now we were getting a uh, one flash code. It would come on and then within 15 seconds, the fan would turn off. Now. Typically that's a sail switch problem. We did find out that it did have trash in the sail switch. Uh, so he's gone in here and cleaned it. And then he's gonna put the cover back on and then go ahead and rerun it because I've seen over the years, they run good with the covers off, put the cover on and quit running. So he's gonna re-double check that. And then this refrigerator, I've got an issue going on with that. I'm gonna show that to you now. Okay, so been in here testing this uh, cooling unit. Now you can see this is a 2020 model uh, cooling unit, but I want you guys to listen to listen to this This cooling unit has got a problem, so we're gonna be changing it out All right, so Lewis has got this basement air out of this uh, Prevost bus which again is the same one they used in the alphas and you can see right there 37.4 uh, amp draws are good, 8.82, and it was 8.0 on the other one. We got good heat all the way around. So this one's finished up and ready to ship out to the customer. All right, so I had a chance to talk to the customer about this cooling unit that you guys heard with gurgling. Um, come to find out, it is still under Dometic uh, two-year warranty, so I was able to call and uh, get them to send in a uh, new cooling unit for that, so we'll get that changed out. Um, Whenever it comes in, it'll probably be a week or so. But let me take you over here to this fuel. I want to show you something on it. So one thing on this fuel, you know, here's the old uh, the old can't leak. We say it can't leak, but it does leak. And it has some, we've had some issues. You know, the knobs all broke off, and they really don't even make this no more. Can't leak is hasn't made stuff in a while. But Anderson Brass has. And so we've got this changed out with the new, uh, with the new Anderson Brass. A, a setup so we'll go through and do a test on all the water systems make sure everything's working correctly but yeah it's kind of the thing you run into on the old kent leak got to change it to anderson so i'm up underneath a uh, jaco class c motor coach looking at some jack problems now you can see it's got the lippard hydraulic jacks but one thing i'm seeing here that i want to show you guys that's not scary at all is see how they've done all these grounds right here all the ground wires come into these terminations right here. Now, if that bolt ever gets loose, that bolt ever gets loose, and this thing ever starts moving a little bit, every neutral in this coach is coming back to these places. Yeah, that's not a problem waiting to happen. All right, so we're back here on this big, big, big horse trailer. Uh, you guys remember last week we were talking about soft floor in the bathroom. Well, let me show you what Lewis has found out. That rascal is real bad. So we've been working on the Gimpy Camper. You guys have seen him on other videos. Go on there and check out his page. You can see where we've gone from, uh, these are 4,400 pound axles to 5,500 pound axles. And he was using a six bolt 15. Those are a six bolt 16. Now those are the, uh, those are the, the uh, tires that we always, that we always like to use the real heavy duty Hercules tires. 
but you can see he's gone from those are load range e those are actually load range g i normally go up to f size uh, but the, he went g he got a little crazy now this the springs those are four leaf springs those tires were actually rubbing a little bit in there so we went ahead and updated those to a five leaf spring and the new five leaf springs had way more arch in them so those tires are really riding real nice now. So I think we've got him pretty well squared away on this. Okay, so you saw in this escape where the uh, cooling unit was out of this refrigerator and it had a problem. So we actually got with, uh, it was still within the, the medic warranty type period. So we were able to get a new cooling unit for this. But now let me show you something. And this comes back to a video that we did not too long ago uh, called the uh, Dometic RM 1350 Debunked. Go back and watch that video if you haven't. Um, this is what we were talking about. This tin foil keeps that from working correctly. All of this thermal mastic needs to be against those coils in that refrigerator. When you cover that up, that refrigerator is not going to transfer the temperature, be able to absorb the temperature out of that refrigerator correctly. So again, this is an OEM. This cooling unit's only two years old, but again, this is what we talk about. These are problems. So. When we go back and put the new cooling unit in, obviously that'll be gone and all the thermal mastic will be correct around that coil right there. So the boy's been out here working on a uh, Keystone Cougar bumper pull. Now I wanted to show you guys this docking station right here. I'm not a fan. And this is the reason why. You go inside this camper, there's a, right about here, there's a TV all the way across the back of this. There's a cabinet with a TV and all this stuff. This is underneath the television. This is inside that cabinet. If these water lines break, if this hot water heater leaks, that whole back of that camper is flooded. I mean, this this is not, I, I, I've seen some bad ideas. That one right there is up there. So yeah, that, that could be a real mess if it ever flooded that camper out, so. Wanted to show that with, show, share that with you guys this morning because I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with that at all. All right, so minor correction from last week's video, and I appreciate, I appreciate all the comments uh, straightening me out. This, I called this a Fleetwood. This is actually a Winnebago Journey, so my apologies. Uh, this is the one that's up here for the uh, freeze damage on the Winter Vortex. Now, we talked about a valve that was bad. This is, this is an actual valve that's broken in this uh, this uh, journey right here. There's actually two of those valves in there, but this one was obviously split so much we couldn't even we couldn't even really test it. So I've got the new valve in. It took me about two weeks. Uh, we're going to pull that in there and uh, start working on that here in just a little bit. But again, just a quick correction from last week's video. And again, I I appreciate all y'all's comments. So, you know, somebody's got to somebody's got to look at after the videos and keep me on the straight and narrow. So. Thank you again, but we're gonna pull that in here now and get going on that. A lot of noise in here, Lewis. As you can see, he's got the floor pulled out of there. There's a whole trash can of floor right there. So we got this big Jayco Alante in here and it was having camera problems. You guys kind of saw us talking about this in a previous video. Um, and so the customer wanted to change camera altogether. So I actually had him buy the camera cause I really haven't had any good places to get cameras that I would trust. So he ordered one in, we got it installed, camera don't work. So good times on that. Um, Lewis is in here on his horse trailer. Let's go in here and do a quick update with him because it's getting towards the end of the day here on Friday. So we're gonna go in here and see what he's got. So I know Mr. Lewis has gotten the floor down. You saw that and he's got the new LVP pretty well laid. Look at that. Looks awesome, Mr. Lewis. Coming right along on this one. Well, starting to get a little late here on Friday. The boys are trying to get things kind of cleaned up. It's It's been a little cold today. Had a ton of rain last night. So they're kind of starting to get things finished up. You know, you guys have you guys have heard me talk about the business portion of what we do here and you know, it's been it's been crazy scary here the last month and a half. I I've never seen anything 
you know, like this. And, you know, I talk to people all the time in the same industry and everybody's, everybody's slow right now. And, you know, it's, it's tough when you're a small guy like me and, you know, I ain't looking for no pity party or nothing like that. I just, you know, again, part of the reason we talk about this stuff is, you know, I want you guys to kind of see the small, the small business side of, of what we do here. And, and, you know, this is, this is a true reality of, of what goes on here in my world, you know, cash flows King, you know, and we're, we're trying to give the best quality repair that we possibly can in this industry. And my guys, you know, we spend so much time and money trying to keep them trained on all the equipment that we work on and all the, all the different campers that you guys own, you know, cause we want to give the best quality. You know, if I was living in the camper, how would I want to be treated? And that, and that's been our, that's been our business model for years. And, and, you know, it's, this is the reality is, you know, we, we, we do have the best service in, in the Chattanooga area. We do have the best trained guys in the Chattanooga area and we turn this stuff faster more correctly than anybody in the Chattanooga area. And I know that's a heck of a statement to make, but any one of you guys who've talked to me on my cell phone, I mean, how many businesses can you guys call and the owner will pick up the phone? You can talk to the owner right then. I mean, there's nobody out there that does that. I mean, I make myself, you know, readily available for you guys, because again, if I was in that situation, how would I want to be treated? You know, and, and so, it's tough, you know, we, we've had some campers come in this week, but I can tell you, Tuesday, Wednesday, there wasn't much coming in the door. And, you know, these guys, these guys are good at what they do and they're moving through this stuff pretty quick. So, you know, you don't, you don't want to go in there and start laying people off. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to cut hours cause they'll go somewhere else and work. And, you know, it's, this is, this is the tough part of the business. And, you know, you guys are seeing this firsthand. I mean, it's not that I'm, making it up i mean you guys are literally seeing what we deal with every day and you know i i don't have millions of dollars like the big box stores do you know i can't keep floating stuff the way the big box stores can you know but the one thing i can do is give better quality service and better quality better quality repairs and that's why we're here and you know that's what we strive to do every day and and so you know i'm hoping here in the next month or so things are going to start flipping now we had a few campers come in this week and that'll keep us going but i can tell you the economy's off compared to what it was you know the last five years i've normally always had jobs in here you know always had real heavy repairs or winter jobs that i would always save for the winter time you know to have the boys something to do but this year it ain't been that way it's it's uh, it's been very interesting and you know that that parking lot normally down there is flat full of campers and you know this parking lot up here has been full of campers and it's you see what's going on i mean it's this is a tough deal so you know you guys are seeing it firsthand like i said i'm not looking for a pity party i'm just you know i'm just showing you the reality of what's going on here in america you know this is every day you know i'm not the only one that struggles with employees and cash flow i mean it's it's a lot of americans dealing with this so you guys are getting to see it firsthand um I appreciate all the comments from last week. Again, that uh, there's that Winnebago journey. I made a little mistake on that. Appreciate y'all commenting on that. Straighten me out on that one. So keep the comments coming. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. And hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll see you again next week. And remember that this video is Cousin Gary Approved. Thanks for watching.